Major winter storm finally getting out of the bluegrass state. It's leaving behind the possibility of record setting cold. We'll show you how low you go just ahead. In Lexington and elsewhere around central Kentucky, people are now starting to dig out from this historic winter storm. We're tracking road conditions around the area. A Lexington woman among hundreds of drivers stranded on Interstate 65 in Hardin County. What she told us about being stuck for nearly a day. Tracking, alerting, protecting. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good evening. A record-breaking, historic winter storm has finally left the bluegrass, and now many of us are digging out from between one and two feet of snow. Road crews are doing what they can, but many roads are still in bad shape. We drove along Interstate 75 in Lexington. This was late this morning, and as you can see, some cars had slid off the roadway. A first alert severe weather day continues. Now we could have record cold temperatures tonight. We begin our team coverage with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Long night ahead for us. With these cold temperatures. Yeah, really. And go ahead, protect the uh, pipes, leave the little trickle of water running out there uh, in some of the faucets, uh, the sinks, maybe the shower heads as we go into the overnight with those bitterly cold temperatures following up the history making snowstorm that is now to our east. Look at what it left behind a thick layer of snow on top of Kentucky to the tune of 25 inches of snow into parts of Hardin County. Radcliffe officially with 25 inches on the ground. 15 to 20 across much of central Kentucky. Some amounts here into northern Scott over into Harrison County closing in on 22 inches. Southeastern Kentucky, 3 to 6 inches into many areas where you had to wait a little longer to get in on this snow compared to your neighbors to the north. Lexington winter making history yet again. 17.1 inches with this latest storm. That falling in a 16 to 17 hour window, which is absolutely incredible to begin with to get that much snow in that short amount of time. It's the largest two day snowstorm on record, shattering the old record of 13 and a half inches from 1917 and 1943. Now, after playing along at home, the past 17 days since President's Day, that snowstorm we had then, and up to the minute, 32.1 inches of snow officially in Lexington during that time. So for the winter now, we're at 40 inches. We still have the potential to add to that. March has been known to throw a little light snow maker at us uh, toward the latter part of the month as well. So we'll have to watch that. 40 right now, the fifth snowiest winter ever for the city of Lexington. And you thought we weren't going to have any fun this winter. Here we go with clearing skies into parts of central Kentucky now as the steadier snows begin to wind down to our east. Still some in the big Sandy Valley area. Maybe a stray snow flurry out there as the skies slowly begin to clear. It's the clearing skies that will set us up for another potential blockbuster record tomorrow morning. Two below is the record low not only for the day, guys, but also for the entire month of March in Lexington. Right now, if we clear the skies out, that two below will likely go by the wayside and be a previous record with a brand new record holder for the entire month of March tomorrow morning. I have a better seven day forecast when I get back in a little over 10 minutes. That's what we want to hear, Chris. Thank you. Well, here are some of the things that we are tracking for you tonight. In the aftermath of the storm, Governor Bashir has declared a state of emergency, allowing the National Guard to make emergency medical runs and rescue stranded drivers. Mayor Jim Gray says the city has activated its homeless plan because so many of the shelters are now full. And the city has also canceled trash pickup again for tomorrow. Dozens of school districts will be closed tomorrow, including Fayette County. The University of Kentucky is also closed. Check the bottom of your screen for a full list. Well, tonight, Lexington City leaders say you should stay off the roads if possible. Road crews are working very hard to get the main roads back in good shape. And drivers who did hit the roads today ran into plenty of challenges out there. Miranda Combs is tracking Lexington road conditions tonight. She joins us live from downtown with the very latest. Hi, Miranda. Hi, Sam. You know, the past two storms have been quite the learning experience for Fayette County streets and roads, so much so, so that they handled it a lot faster this go around, and the people we talked to are taking notice. If you don't have four wheel drive, it could be worse. You could be this guy. I am trying to pedal around in 10 inches of snow. He's a delivery man for Jimmy John's, whose motto is that they are freaky fast, but he realizes that's not the case today. But on a day like today, I'm pretty much limited to Main Street and Vine. 
It was just after noon when we caught up with them, and already many sidewalks were cleared on Main Street, and crews were taking up lanes of downtown to load up the snow and take it to a snow farm where there's more room for it to spread out. Once again, downtown, we don't have anywhere to put the snow, so we have to scoop it up. Haul it away. We try to take it out of the crosswalks or or the sight lines. Right now, priority for streets and road crews are the priority routes listed in the county snow plan. This, with the amount of snow we saw, will take crews a few days. Contractors are already out on the roads. They showed up much sooner than the last storm, showing the city is learning by example. In this case, the example was just two weeks ago. From the last storm to this storm. Yeah, we don't have two feet of snow on Main Street right now. A memory as fresh as the new fallen snow. Back live now, this is Vine Street. It doesn't look quite as good as Main Street does at this point, but a good example of how cars are, are moving through here at a fairly good pace at this point. Now, at the last storm, they were ended up plowing all 4,000 plus roads in Fayette County because of the situation. They say they hope that they don't have to do that again this go around. We're live in Lexington. Miranda Combs, WKYT. Miranda, thank you. Now, dealing with more than a foot of snow is bad enough, but some folks in Franklin County also had to worry about flooding tonight. Victor Puente talked to some homeowners battling both snow and high water. He continues our first alert weather team coverage. Cars stuck in the snow were a common sight this morning in Frankfurt. Throughout the day, road crews have done their best to make that less likely, but getting that snow off the road hasn't been easy. Neither is getting it out of parking lots. Tiresome, very tiresome. Brad Hornback says he has several lots to keep clean. And had to plow some of them multiple times to keep up with the snow. You know, just a wet, heavy snow, and if you don't plow it, you know, two or three times, you know, you're it's a wasted effort. At Walmart, the doors were closed because they couldn't get enough employees to the business to open them. But it's not just snow that's concerning people in Frankfurt. The lake I'm standing in front of isn't supposed to be here. It's actually the Elkhorn Creek, and the people living along it are less worried about the snow in their lawn than they are the water at their back door. Yeah, it really got up yesterday, and so then all this happened. <laughs> Jerry Spaulding was already watching the creek behind his home before the snow fell on top of it. Keep an eye on it. We kept pretty good, pretty good eye on things, uh, pretty much all night, and. Uh, uh, fighting with the sump pump and the water coming in. And... That pump is there because the spring in front of his house <laughs> causes water to spill into his basement. With the ground saturated, that problem is magnified. Well, uh, just trying to figure out where to put the snow to make sure that it runs down that way. He believes the water is receding and hopes the melting snow doesn't send more up the creek bank and into his basement. I'm ready to see green and sun. I'm ready to put shorts on. In Frankfurt, Victor Puente, WKYT. Thank you, Victor. It's a similar situation over in Powell County. Take a look at these flooding pictures from the Clay City Times. A newspaper reports the Red River is expected to crest at more than six feet above flood stage tonight. Emergency crews are telling some people living near the river that they may have to evacuate because the water is expected to reach Main Street. Heavy snow fell south of Lexington as well in Madison County. The sheriff's office spent the day helping stranded drivers and giving medical employees rides to work. And as Monique Blair tells us, some people said they just had to be out in the snow today. We're hungry. Looking for somewhere to eat in the city of Richmond is not typically a hard task, but that was a different story today as Madison County stood still. <laughs> and as Armando Alvarez looked for something to eat, Jonathan Elliott was doing just the opposite. Constant delivery. Delivering food to those who didn't try and brave the harsh roads. Everybody's just uh, very happy with it. Thanking me for uh, bringing them food in this weather. The sheriff's department tells me they've helped eight drivers on the roads, and so far the county has not had any major road emergencies. Really and truly, if you don't need to be out today, please just stay home. I mean, it's just very nasty. It's just not a day to be out. Those who didn't go out in the mess had something else to deal with. We are just in the process of, like, unburying. It's been kind of rough. People are skidding around, and it looks like they could slide into each other. The sheriff's department has spent the day using these Hummers to transport essential employees to and from work. 
So far today, Deputy Warren Reardon says the department has transported about 20 different medical professionals. All in all, we're making the, the best of a bad situation that we can. And after this record-breaking snowfall, Michelle Rossi has just one wish. Gosh, I wish I lived in Florida. In Madison County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Don't we all oh, echo that right the, now, the right? The 80s sound really good right yeah. now. Mm. Well, sometimes we say this and you never quite know, but this truly is a traffic nightmare for hundreds of drivers along Interstate 65 in Hardin County. Mm, this was no fun. They have been stranded on the interstate since last night because of a crash that happened before all the snow fell. Now, as you can see, the line of stranded vehicles stretches for miles north and south of Elizabethtown. A woman from Lexington is in the middle of all this, stuck. Jennifer Palumbo joins us from the live desk with her story. Jennifer, what a mess. It is Sam. Susan Kaywood is a pharmaceutical representative who travels a lot for work. She was on I-75, or I-65 rather, driving back to Lexington when she ran into trouble near Elizabethtown around 9 last night. And this all started when police say two commercial trucks jackknifed at mile markers 71 and 75 in Hart County. Kaywood has been sitting in her car now for 21 hours. Since she travels a lot, she's better prepared than most with food and a blanket in her car. The problem really remains is that there's been no first response team to help. There are, there are a couple cars back. The people are out of gas. It's going to get very cold tonight. Um, and I know that that's true. I can see back for about a mile and a half at least visibility and a mile in front of me. And it's just bumper to bumper. And there are tractor trailers galore, but there's also a lot of cars that are running out of gas. I've got between a quarter and a half a tank right now, and I'm trying to conserve it. Kaywood recorded this video on her cell phone to show us where she is. She says she's around mile marker 73 and can see traffic moving fine in the southbound lanes, but there's no way for people in the northbound lanes to get over there and get out of this mess. Kentucky transportation officials say another problem is that routes that could normally be detours for I-65 in this area are blocked because of the nearly two feet of snow that fell. So for now, Kaywood and all those drivers are just waiting and trying to make the best of a really bad situation. At the live desk, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT. Thank you, Jennifer. The transportation cabinet says making matters worse, many drivers refuse to allow tow operators to hitch up their vehicles due to the cost of a tow. Well, here is an example of just how quickly that snow accumulated. Kathy shared this time lapse video of the snow outside her home in Paris. The video covers 17 hours, and as you can see from her WKYT rules winter ruler, the snow piled up to more than a foot. You can share your eyewitness pictures and videos with us on Facebook and Twitter by using the hashtag WKYT Rules Winter. We always appreciate that. And remember, for a complete list of closings and delays along with updated weather information, just go to our website, WKYT.com. And stay with us. Our winter storm coverage continues here on WKYT until 7 o'clock tonight. In seven minutes, we'll hear from a man who had to be rescued when his truck stalled on a flooded Kentucky road. And later, WKYT investigates a hidden killer that could be in your home. Why health experts say radon is a big problem in Fayette County. History making snows beginning to wind down. Now we set the stage for history record low temperatures heading into the overnight. We'll talk about how low those thermometers get in relation to all-time March records when I come back in a moment.